If you're looking to up your Madden skills with the best ebooks in the community, Civil.gg has got you. Pick from one of the two membership options and you can use code SPREE for 25% off. Today, let's break down how you can bomb every defense in Madden 22. Now, like a similar video I did earlier in the year, we're going to be using the Washington Offensive Playbook, but zones have changed. I've got a few extra bombs to throw in specifically against cover four and cover three that you can go ahead and use to bomb those coverages. Now we're in practice mode, which means we can't set up zone drops, but we are going to be able to beat cover two, cover three, cover four, man coverage match. We're going to break it all down today. Now to be able to run all of these setups, you are going to need to be running the Washington offensive playbook and an ability like hot route master, or maybe even just an outside apprentice, a wide receiver apprentice to give yourself some extra routes. Otherwise, if you're just running the Washington offense, you will be able to run most of these setups even without any additional abilities but we will talk about each one and what you're going to need for each setup as we go through the video quick side note most of these plays will be available in other playbooks that have the gun bunch formation so you don't necessarily need to use the washington playbook now first up we're going to be bombing cover two zone we'll have some similar setups from my last video but if you haven't seen that one don't worry we'll break it all down in this video today now again to stock cover two you're trying to attack a deep down the middle of the field or deep down the sideline one good play to do that is going to be bunch trail Looking at the play, it's pretty much perfectly set up to beat cover two. What happens is that corner route from Scotty Miller right there is going to pull down the deep half on the right side of the field. And you're going to see Mike Evans clear the deep half on the left and get wide open down the middle of the field. For a play like this, you can even max protect. So you can block people. You only really need the corner routes and the post route on the left. You can do whatever you want with circle route. You can have yourself a nice little check down. But if we just go ahead and run that play, if I get some time in the pocket the guy's like well we were getting a little bit of pressure right there but we do manage to take it in for six another great play to bomb cover two is going to be verticals if we're looking at the setup that wheel route from johnson on the outside circle is where we're looking to attack now if your opponent's sending pressure you can go ahead and max protect you can go ahead and have some check down routes maybe with your running back or nice little slant maybe from evans right there but if we go ahead and snap the ball as long as we get a little bit of time in the pocket and this time we actually do we can wait try get to the outside and if that's not doing james we can sneak onto the crib right there now for the final setup to beat cover two zone we're going to be looking at like a homemade version of bunch trail you're going to need hot route master or at least outside apprentice to do these setups now if we motion out this johnson right here if we do a hot route on him we will have the option of a post if we set up the post it looks like that skinny post from bunch trail we can go ahead and max protect and we need something to pull down the deep half on the left so we get our guy wide open down the middle of the field we've got two options for this a post corner is pretty good that's going to pull it down that is going to need a hot route master or an outside apprentice on that guy as well you can also go ahead and run a slant and have a smoke screen or like a little check down with maybe a drag with your guy on the other side that's also going to do the job one thing to keep in mind is if, is if your opponent is running soft squats he's going to the outside corner is going to match vertically which means that he's going to actually match with a post so if your guy's not fast enough to get separation he might get picked off it is going to be man coverage so we can run that play just to show you an example you can see he gets followed and man coverage right there you see he plays the ball so you're going to need a good receiver if he is playing that soft squat so he does match vertically if you want to avoid those soft squats Maybe we go ahead and set up something like this. So we've got something attacking the flats so the guy doesn't actually match vertically. And if we go ahead and run that similar play right there instead of the slants, you can see how wide open it is down the field. So we got Johnson taking it to the curve right there. Next up, looking at how to bomb cover two, we're going to be back looking at bunch trail. We've got a pretty similar setup. So you could go ahead and max protect. You All you're really going to need is these three routes. You've got the corner, you've got the deep post, and we've got the slot. So that slot's going to push off that deep safety in the middle of the field. That deep post is going to get open. With your running back, you could have a nice little check down like this, maybe a little hook. You could send out your tight end, but if you're just trying to get extra protection, max protecting, never a bad idea. So we might have to step up in the pocket, and you just wait, wait for Mike Evans to get in that nice little gap between the outside third and the middle third right there. Now, probably my favorite way to beat cover three is going to be this homemade setup. Again, we're going to need whole route master. Again, we're at least going to need outside apprentice. What we're going to go ahead and do is put this man on that post that we just had before, but we're actually going to motion him back in. So he's running it from his position in that kind of bunch formation. We're going to streak the slot receiver again here. We can actually max protect if we want. And with Evans on the left side of the field, a post corner that's up on the D-pad, is actually going to do a really good job of pulling down the outside third a comeback can do okay but if the corner on the outside is really good 
he still does get a chance to get deep down the field. So if we snap the ball right there, hopefully our protection can hold up. We can see it gets in that nice little gap right there. Johnson's not the fastest guy, but he's taken to that crib super easy. Next up, we're trying to beat cover for drop zone. This is a play that a lot of people like to go into because it feels safe, but don't worry, we can bomb this. The setup for this is pretty simple. Again, it's going to be homemade, so you will need an outside apprentice or a hot route master. We're going to do the same trick where we motion him, get the we get the uh, the post with the outside apprentice, and we motion him back in. And what we're going to need to do is streak the slot receiver. And then all we're actually going to need to do is a drag from Evans. If we max protect right there, this play is going to work perfectly. If you want, you can put your running back on a nice little flat or something. You could even put your tight end on another route right there. But as long as we're not attacking vertically on the left side of the field, this play is going to work. We'll send out these players right there. We'll see if our O-line hold up. But you can see how this just gets wide open. It gets into that nice little gap right there. We send out five people. So we have check downs if need be if it gets used easy bombs next we're bombing match coverage cover four quarters cover four palms cover six cover nine a whole bunch of these plays that people like to use they're a little bit confusing a lot of people run them stock so this is going to be a super easy bomb now there is a unique play in the washington playbook clear out that is going to be perfect for bombing match coverage and to actually bomb it all you're going to need is motion this guy out so if you motion snap just before he gets to the outside and stops you motion you snap the ball you'll see r1 gets wide open every single time so that's no adjustments right there super easy touchdown now what i would go ahead and do and what i'd recommend is maybe putting this guy on a corner maybe the running back on a nice little in route and what that'll do is you have a few more options if he's not actually in quarters or if he's not actually in match cover so we'll do that again we've got a few check downs you can see oh, we got plenty of time in the pocket Again, Scotty Miller all the way to the crib. And finally, we're looking at beating man coverage, starting off with cover two man. Like beating cover two zone, you're going to need to attack deep down the sideline or deep down the middle of the field. Now, for you, something like verticals, the wheel route can sometimes get open getting deep down the sideline, but not always. So we're going to be looking is looking at a play that attacks deep down the middle of the field. We know that we have bunch trail. So we have a setup like this against man coverage cover two man as long as you've got a decent wide receiver we get a bit of time in the pocket you'll see right there just like before he gets wide open you yeah, love to see it now this is our homemade cover two beta setup again it's going to work against man so if we snap the ball you know we need that outside receiver circle to be actually pretty good but we can get a nice little pass lead right there and if we had a better catching animation again that's to the crib now if your opponent's playing cover one man which means that's man coverage but there is a deep safety in the middle of the field we can't run bench trail because that's going to be covered and we're going to need to attack deep down the sideline and a play to do that is going to be clear out because that has this built in double move on the left now if you have a slot apprentice on this outside circle receiver or obviously you have hot route master you can actually put another double move so what we could have do have is two double moves both attacking down the field and we'll see if one of them can get open for a nice easy touchdown we can have some nice little check downs underneath if neither none of them get open but if we look for it and if we can get enough time in the pocket you can see our double move on the left naked naked right there easy touchdown and then against a zero blitz if your opponent doesn't have any safety help we're looking at some nice quick reads that'll get you some nice separation so bunch trail the trail route from the tight end will do you right if you're looking to go deep over the top mike evans can get open right here we go ahead and just maybe block the running back to get a little bit of protection see if we can get some time in the pocket see if anyone's going to get open you see the tight end right there again because of the nature of a zero blitz it doesn't take much for you to get a bunch of yardage and actually get down the field let's say we want to block this guy right here maybe we'll run clear out like the setup that we had before but this time we block the tight end and go something like this we're looking for that double move on the left see if that gets open it did again we got pressure but you see what i mean you can use a combination of these setups that we've used before maybe we go ahead and do this one that we did as well maybe we go something like this we have a check down we go ahead and block so we can use some of these man beating ones that we've looked at obviously we didn't get much separation there and by much we got zero but just a few options that you could have a look at. Again, having check downs underneath is super important if they get bagged deep. So you can see you can get some big, quick, easy one play touchdowns using some of these other setups that we've looked at to beat man coverage. And I think that's going to be about it for today, folks. If you can, I would appreciate if you found this helpful. If you go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I know there's only a few more setups from the last video, but I want to try to keep everything up to date. So again, I'll update this video if we do find some more bombs that are going to be more coverages making sure you guys have everything you need to go out and get some dubs. 
when you're playing Madden. If you want to see these bombs and actions, I do stream over on Twitch, twitch.tv slash call me spree. I will put a link to it down in the description below. But I appreciate you coming through. I hope you found this helpful. Take it easy, everyone. You can call me spree. And we out.